Hey guys, Trevor Critchley here today with now we're back with the end of the effing world. As I can't say the F word apparently because it demonetizes me. But let's see if we can get through this one without being demonetized. But now um yeah, we're back with this interesting comedy, um dark comedy I should say. With we've got the good old psychopath and then the girl who wants to go out of a weirdo or something like that. Um yeah, the first episode was pretty funny to be fair. It was uh interesting. Uh <laughs> It did get me to laugh a few times just because it was so unexpected. It's definitely a lot of dark, uh, a bit of dark humour there, which is fun. Um, but yeah, I like the idea that our main character is a serial killer. He wants to kill him, but he's going to just going to keep letting her live. I'm really curious how this is going to, how this will end. Like, will he end up killing her in the end or or not? That would be pretty interesting, to be fair. Um, but yeah, it's just like a really funny Bates Motel. That's the best way of me describing this show. But yeah, no, uh, we should continue our adventure into episode two. So guys, please leave a like if you enjoy. And subscribe as I'm doing series like Dark and Brooklyn Nine-Nine along with this. I would love to have you guys along for the ride. And if you like anime, you found the perfect channel. Because that is what I majority do on my channel. Basically, it's just going to be ten episodes of him failing to, failing to murder her. This is shit. She Sometimes tried. I look at him and I think... Are you a bit dead? Are you what is? My ear? What? What are these like weird it. sexual sexual fetishes she's got? But he's pretty optimistic. Poor guy. He was just trying to be a good dad. She really raised what? a psychopath by accident. Money with you. Didn't you? I was going to yeah. say. I, I thought they had money. That was all your money. I thought he had the book in the that wallet. You, I was being fucked. Chain. <laughs> it's free reign. Say it. If it's a chain, it's free reign. There you go. Otherwise, you're basically funding terrorism. What? <laughs> Places sake. like this were run by the man. What man? The man. Uh, man. Fuck's sake. The man who, you know, owns all the oil, forces Chinese children to make Maybe our little psychopath over here might turn into a Dexter and only kill the, the bad. I don't know. Allow it, though. We should have sex. What now? Yeah. God, she's so fucking forward, isn't she? Oh, this is why uh, the top's off. Okay. okay, this is how to crash. Have to go along with it. Hey, Keep she's suicidal. No wonder the crash. Sex was something you then. We have to be England. Uh, that was uh, the wisest stop. words I've ever heard from a father. What did they expect? For fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, they were going to get stopped at some point. Let's hire a bike. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's a thing he's ever bought. Wow, well, he actually showed remorse for his dad. I don't think that's possible. I think it exploded. Do you reckon you can still fix it? Fuck that, that was a really bad poorly made car bloom after just hitting a tree. It's in a video game, fucking hell. What should we do? Go home. That's fine, you can if you want. No, I don't want to. I was just asking if you wanted to. I don't to. want to go home, James. Okay, both being stubborn. I don't want to go home. I wonder where these two are going to fucking end up. So what do you want to do? I don't know. Why don't you fucking think of something for once? <laughs> She's so aggressive. Oh, he, he did. I couldn't have done it there. The car would have... Walking all day with my mouth on fire. That's did not take his shit out of the car. Walking all We're going to have to steal little Timmy's bike, aren't we? Come on. Look, love, you don't really have a choice in this matter. I'm gonna be so fucked off if we get murdered. And yet she's going out with a killer. We well, haven't killed anyone yet, to be fair. Just killed animals, lots of animals. I can't believe he got a phone call to your mum or something. Let her know you're okay. My mum's dead, actually. <laughs> the screeching guitar. <laughs> guy's a prick. What? He's like the worst kind of person. He's alright. Why are you defending him? He's a murderer. <laughs> Why is he a murderer? He's in the army. He's murdered people. Oh, for fuck's sake. He looks like a ham. Is he just trying to piss him that, off? doesn't he? Ham. <laughs> you guys are so fucking boring. Fucking hell, love. So aggressive. Be the item, okay, though, if he is actually a creep. 
Don't be daft, son. That's women, eh? Yeah. <laughs> you just give off a creepy vibe, though. I hate it. Yeah, <laughs> God damn it. I'm bad at apologising to people. But sometimes I know I should. <laughs> that we all have that trouble, love. Why would you do that? What happened to your hand? No, you go to the other uranium, mate. Back off. What the fuck is he doing? Sometimes I just, even though I didn't want them to. I'm not sure why. Why is he, why did he have to be a creep? <laughs> For fuck's sake. His girlfriend's right there as well. What's going on? <laughs> that was fucking okay? awkward. Give me your wallet. <laughs> you what? Give me your wallet. This is how to get to survive. <laughs> no. You're getting robbed, mate. No. Give me your wallet or I swear to fuck. You would do that. I yeah, she two. would. You lost your wallet to a girl, for fuck's sake. I could just give that up. Was it worth it, mate? Oh, shit. Well, oh, they're good for a bit. Cry. <laughs> I love how she was always going inside the fucking heads of what they're thinking. Come on, woman, you get in business. Calm down. Guys, take your yeah, shoes off. Fucking hell. So what you need to do is actually keep with her and then murder other people. It's only a logical route. So you don't feel like a true psychopath, because surely he shows a bit of emotion now and again, like with the car and just now. I thought psychopaths meant to be emotionless. You alright? Oh yeah, the weird dad. Can I speak to my mom? She doesn't want to speak to you. Talk about being such a passive mum. <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm going to go to my dad's. You can come if you want. Oh, okay. We have a goal now, guys. Okay. James. It reminds me a bit of, um, is that Wayne, that YouTube series? Reminds me a lot of that show. Beautiful. I'm going to show all the characters be really sad now. I feel really tough and dad. You don't seem like that bad, much of a bad guy. You just did bad jokes. Oh, we called the police. Mate, he turned away from his darker thoughts. It's quite surprising. It seems they're doing a bit more of his character than I thought, maybe. Like, it feels like maybe the... Because he's shown emotion with his dad's car. And then he's shown, like, put away his knife. So maybe he's not as psychopath as he tries to make us believe. But we'll only tell as the show goes on. Um, yeah, this is a bit more of a sad face episode with a really creepy guy. And obviously, Alyssa got the big money now. And, yeah, that guy was a... Uh, he looks like Alyssa ended up being right and being a creep. Um... Yeah, a bit more of a sob episode, that one. Um, it looks like we've just come with the reality they just ran away, really. Um, but yeah, apart from that, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I hope to see you next week.